Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, it's Fed Day. Uh, we're going to have the FOMC announcement and the forecasts at 2 p.m. Chairman Bernanke speaks at 2.30. So to say that's going to move the markets is the understatement of the week. Um, looking at yesterday, talking about the middle band, 20-day moving average, the bulls broke through. At this point, the bulls have to stay there, and they have to now make the middle band support down at 1636-1637 area. So on any move down today, on any dip, um, you want to look at that area as an area of potential support, at least on the first, uh, at least on the first move down. Uh, it's hard for me to say anything about the bears except that they have basically blown it again for the umpteenth time in a row with respect to being able to roll this market over. Uh, I would expect a little bit of a, you know, we're basically flat in the overnight. We did a lot yesterday on the upside. I would expect a little bit of a down off the open and, you know, the potential to go sideways uh, 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 to a little bit lower into the Fed. And then as the Fed comes in, who knows what the Fed's going to do? Uh, and how, you know, it's, and and who knows how that's going to be interpreted. So, I, I never game the jobs report, and I don't game the Fed. So, uh, I'll be flat into the Fed report as I usually am. Uh, but I would expect at least one good move down today to test that middle band. And if the bulls can hold that middle band, then go back to work on 1650, they have a chance to go ahead and reach for the upper band up at 1665. Uh, with respect to the pivots. You've got a double pivot zone, uh, 1643, 1642 half. So just a little bit above where we're trading right now. I would look for that as uh, as some initial support uh, and potentially resistance if we get underneath. We have the potential to trade between the 36 area and the 42 half to 43 area into the Fed. If you if you're looking for a Fed kind of a, a channel into the announcement, uh, 36 to 43 is a pretty good bet. Okay, so everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.